thanks to the new front windshield decals, we get even more detail on these 164 die cast. Here's Kyle Busch's 2019 championship race winning M&M's Toyota Camry. Howdy, howdy, folks, it's Diecast Buffet here again, back with a brand new Diecast. Yeah, it's a 2019 car, but it's a 2020 year release. Uh, here is Kyle Busch's 2019 Homestead race winning uh, championship car. Now, this is the car that he won his second championship with, and this was the final race for the Monster Energy uh, Cup Series uh, brand sponsorship. You can see the, the Monster Energy green confetti all over the car. You even got some M&M's bags on top of the die cast. Very, very sharp. But uh, what's going on with this wheel over here? I mean, what 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 is this? Like, are you kidding me? Like, what is this? A freaking, what is this, a monster truck? Wow. So this die cast looks pretty roached already. But uh, this is in the 2019 box. But that's all good and dandy. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get this 2019 Championship Homestead Raced Version Kyle Busch, Eminem's Toyota Camry, out of the box. Alrighty, folks, brand new out of that good old box. And I tell you what, this thing is coated in confetti, and I think the lime green confetti actually looks great, honestly. I mean, you got the, of course, you know, the lime green splitter and spoiler. And for whatever reason, I noticed in 2019 that the green stripe is actually above the splitter. I thought for the longest that the green splitter was actually in effect. No, it's it's a stripe above that. How did I never notice that? I will never know, but that's that's actually the case. I, I at least it was on the Ford Mustangs. Anyways, so you got the Homestead raced version uh, Toyota Camry here, and uh, Kyle won a second championship with this car. But this car's got a little bit of a oopsie here. Check this out. <laughs> Look how bad that wheel is there, guys. I mean. Wow, I mean look at that dude like this. I'm gonna pr I'm pressing the wheel as hard as I can and it's still not even clear It's still not like look at this. It's <laughs> Look how bad that is. I mean <laughs> Oh my god, look at the chassis look at that the gas tank's supposed to be flush with the back bumper Wow, bro, like they got this one all jacked up. So this thing is already screwed up, right? So this die cast is already screwed up, unfortunately so. But you would think it's maybe St. Patrick's Day with the, the, the green confetti. I love the green confetti. I think it looks awesome, right? Kind of looks like money almost. <laughs> so it kind of reminds me of the, uh, what is it, the Winston Million they did back in yesteryear. Uh, but this is really interesting here. Look at the window bars. Look at look at the little detail they actually got on the window bars. So you got your little Matcha Energy green corners, which is the first time I've ever seen those. Um, you get the little window bars. They're not just like a just a straight bar, right? It actually has it looks like a ladder almost. That is actually very nice detail. I wish we could. I, I think they should make the actual window bars like that instead of just putting a, a gray panel there. Let's go over here to the nose of the car. You got uh, grill tape. You got confetti, dirt, probably a lot of champagne, and God knows what else is on this freaking car. So you got the 18 there. You got Moog and Brock Sunoco. Very sharp. This is the Eminem's primary paint scheme. Of course, we already reviewed the Clash car, which is the champion uh, ship car, you know, that he ran back at the Clash. Uh, link down below to that. But really, really cool paint scheme. And, and this is just the primary Eminem's car, because if you go back to 2015, he won in, what was it, the, the M&M's Crispy, something like that. The green car, it was the M&M's, it was like their primary car for that year. But it was actually a really cool paint scheme. So over here, you got the Kyle Busch signature. I like how it covers most of the name rail there. You got, uh, what is that, it's, uh, five cup wins? Yeah, at Stanley right there, I got the M&M's dude just pointing at me, so that's cool. I guess, I guess he's just having a jolly good time. Um, is that an M&M's bag or something there? Or is that a paint chip? Oh, that's a paint chip. Oh, uh oh, he's got a band aid there. So you got uh, Reem right over here in the right rear quarter panel. You got uh, American Ethanol, and notice how the bottom of this is kind of like kind of dark, kind of darked out. I think it's supposed to represent that the fender was rolled in and it had kind of like dust and tire wear. You can see a little bit of a, a black line on the outside of the fender well, which is representing, uh, you know, the tire from the the burnout. You got M&M's there, Interstate Batteries, Mobile One, Freightliner, Simeon's, Doosan, Mechanics, where? Cessna, Lincoln Welders with a bullet hole in it. 
And I uh, see Sherwin Williams got your Jack Post decal. Love the pop rivets on these raced version cars. Uh, you got a goofy looking number four round of four logo. We got Mechanics for our 3M Kanan Lincoln Welders. There's actually a crap load of contingencies on this car. Oh my god, wow. Uh, Toyota Snickers uh, gets, what is that? Uh, Joe Gibbs Racing, Twix, Skittles, Pedigree, and yeah, whatever that is. Going here to the back end of this die cast, and you got the Toyota Camry logo right there. I mean, I cannot get, like, I just cannot get my head around the, the, the fact how screwed up the bottom is. I mean, they couldn't even get all the metal shavings off of this thing. Like, literally, like, look at the, the, I'm holding the car flat. Look at, shouldn't it be the other way around? I don't know, maybe maybe that actually helps it go around the, the track faster, you know, with all the camber and everything, because, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but there's actually a little bit of stagger in these cup cars, that the, the outside wheels are just like a fraction bigger than the left side ones, because that helps the cars rotate. So you got the XSE logo right there. You got M&Ms. Look how goofy this is. I mean, look at this. I'm just hanging the car there. Look how bad that wheel placement is. And this is because when they screwed the rivet in, they didn't get the chassis flush. They just pressed it and just... Probably my favorite part of the car. Um, I'm not even a candy type of person. I much prefer beef jerky. Uh, that's probably why I went all crazy for that Jack Lynx uh, die cast that Ryan Blaney uh, got this year. But I tell you what, over here on the roof, we got the 18 right there. We got a whole bunch of uh, M&M's bags. That's a really cool uh, feature that they put there, the M&M's bags. I'm kind of curious how this car would compare to the 2015 Unfortunately, the 2015 car is, well, it's at least $25 from what I've seen. So you got the M&M's logo all across the, uh, the roof flaps right there, very sharp. I got Kyle Busch here, and of course they put Kyle Busch there because, you know, Kurt Busch. They, if they just put Busch there, it's like, oh, is it Kurt or Kyle? Oh my god, one drives a Chevrolet? No. Uh, I guess it's there for the newer fans, which, I mean, if you're, you know, if you've been watching the sport for three weeks, you could probably tell the difference, but I understand, you know, for the newer fan, but... Uh, over here to the deck lid, uh, the M&M's logo is a little bit uh, wonky jaw here, folks. Wow. So it's it that's holding the car straight. The M&M's logo is not even straight. And it's kind of almost over here where the, the window piece is. So that wasn't put on properly. Uh, but you, you do get some more M&M's bags there. So this thing's uh, carrying some loot around uh, Victory Lane. Very, very cool stuff. So this was Kyle Busch's second championship. Whether you like him or not, I still say... Whenever he joined Joe Gibbs Racing in 2008, no one has had better looking race cars than Kyle Busch. And this is coming from a guy who's not even a Kyle Busch fan. I'm being dead honest. I love his die cast. And I, I, I love the car, man. I think this car is freaking awesome. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, that's going to be coming up tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope you're having a great day out there. Diecast Buffet, signing off.